Hello, you guys. I am back. I did not show you my hair after I got it done at my hair salon slash my friend who has a salon at her house. So let me show you my hair really quick. I am back home, obviously. I'll explain all that. But you guys, look at this. So much better. I don't really like the dark root right there, but I do love the rest of the color. Chelsea came into the room when I got home. She's like, ooh, mom, did you know that your hair is like, we're blonde now? <laughs> I was like, then it worked. I love the cut. So she ended up having to cut an inch off on this side, like when you looked at it from the back, because of how uneven it was. <laughs> we all know the damage that was done. Maybe I'll insert what it looked like before again, so that you guys can see back when it first happened but then she also kind of gave me a little bit of a, a layering here in the front so I can kind of shape my face a little bit better which normally I haven't had done but with this short of hair accidentally mind you we kind of had to do that but then she only had to cut off like a quarter inch from the back of this side where it was messed up on that side so anyway I just really love it it really looks so good I'm just looking at myself in the mirror or in the camera here too all right to catch you up I did not film like at all you are you have seen the one video that I filmed and that was the day of travel and the next day. I think that was it. And that was the day that I went to surprise my friend at her baby shower. It went great, but I ended up with a really bad headache that night. So I just really didn't go into it very much. But then the rest of my trip, I stayed at my parents' house that night, woke up the next morning. And I also have a ton of, what do you, what is the phrase? Balls in the air here at home. So if I kind of like stop suddenly, that's why I'm trying to play mom and catch up on everything. I'll, I'll explain. So, hey Chelsea, get yourself some lunch before you head out. And your watch, put it on. I'm just gonna get you caught up and then I'll go throughout the rest of our day, but stayed the night at my parents' house after the baby shower. Woke up the next day, was able to see two of my sisters. Like, I talked to them for 10 minutes socially distanced at my mom's house. We had church with my mom and my dad and their neighbor was my friend Kathy. Church at home is different these days. It was 10 minutes long and, and then we chatted. I chatted with my neighbor from her yard. Then I went and got my hair cut and then I went down to Aaron's house. I had to drive an hour and a half back to Aaron's house and I got to Aaron's house and we kind of chatted for a minute and I passed out on her couch. Probably for two hours, I was exhausted. I was so tired. I woke up and her and her roommate had made me meatloaf and mashed potatoes and uh, what else did we have? Some peas and juice and they made a yummy dinner for me, a home cooked meal I have been eating had been eating along the way, like fast food the whole time I was traveling. So it felt so good to like eat a home cooked meal. And then Aaron and I stayed up watching three episodes of Ratchet on Netflix. If you haven't seen that one, it's a really good psycho thriller. <laughs> It's very weird new to Netflix as of last week. So if you need a new Netflix show, I wanted to watch Call the Midwife with her, but she is behind and hasn't started the new season. So we couldn't watch that one. Went to bed, actually never actually fell asleep. I think I went to bed at one in the morning, never fully went to sleep. Is Ashley going with you? Well, would you like to find out so she can go with you? That's not nice. Ash. No, attempt more than that. Go upstairs and find her. Ash. Go Went to bed at like one in the morning and then never fully fell asleep. Had a raging headache. I just, I never fell asleep. Sometimes I get anxious like that when I have to know I have to wake up on time for a flight. I get so anxious about it that I actually can't fall asleep. And so I never really did. Maybe for a half hour before I ended up getting up with my alarm at 4.45 a.m. And my flight, I had to get to the airport by 5.00. 30. Flight was at 6.45 and I just didn't feel like, I fell asleep in the airport in LA first of all. Luckily I had all my stuff like gathered around me. Um, woke up to an empty airport, thought that I had totally missed my flight, but turns out there just was only 15 people on our flight from LA to Seattle. <laughs> so there just wasn't very many people in the airport. It just was such a long day of travel and then like nothing happened and I couldn't film people and it wasn't the trip to like document if I can if that's an easy way to say it. So now that we're back at home, I have been working on that travel video. It's uploading right now. I was holding off on uploading it because our internet has been struggling. I had to email Kaylee's uh, tenant's office because she got kicked out of I think one or two of her classes yesterday and couldn't get back on. Turns out our entire city's is like internet 
shut down and the school district system shut down at the schools so a lot of the teachers run their zooms and all that kind of stuff they actually go to the school um, in order to have a good internet and to be away from family and noise and whatnot so there was one of our friends daughter <laughs> was on a zoom call and she's Ashley's age seven and she said the teacher got locked or got kicked out of their zoom call and so all the students were like these little seven-year-olds were doing tours of their home with their laptops and like it was like mayhem so at least like my seven-year-old didn't get like you know stuck in this lord of the flies scenario <laughs> on zoom i've been trying to not use the internet um while they've been on their calls today to make sure that they could get on and then abby's computer is it still doing the sound abby so let me show you can you hear it yeah you don't have anything on there i'm not showing you can you hear that Shh, i'm trying to show them what this sounds like yeah that's a little distracting don't you think oh yeah that's not even with the volume up yeah so she can't get into any of her Zoom calls because she can't hear her teachers. The audio is Why doing that sound. They went out to play. Why? Ugh. Are you wanting to do PE with Ashley? No, she just likes filming it. <laughs> well, no. okay. Anyway, this is kind of a story time. So, well, you can go out and ask her if she wants to come in. Otherwise, just do your workout. You can just see. It's just, it's just been kind of chaotic. There's my lunch, uneaten. Can't even take a second to like eat that. Let's see what else is going on on my crowns are ready to be installed. <laughs> and so they moved my appointment up to a day that Jason is not home and I have to figure out can I actually leave at that time and will the kids function for all their calls. So I had to have that changed, which is good. I need to get these crowns on because this tooth is kind of starting to get a dull ache because it's open. It's just got a temporary filling on it and it, it needs to be covered up. Don't even talk to me about the cost of two root canals, two crowns so far. And he's hoping we don't have to do another root canal, another crown. He's hoping that this will kind of solve it and we can kind of push out the other two. I've gotten the bill for the first two and haven't even gotten the bill for the crowns. Might have to sell my car. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do. I wish dental was included in medical insurance. I really, really do. I think it's really stupid that it's not. So yesterday I got home, Jason picked me up from the airport and it was just kind of a day of catch up and Jason had, you know, he did everything. I mean, he took care of the kids, he fed them lunches, you know, I mean, he, he fed the meals, I mean, and he did laundry, but it's just like, I had a whole load of laundry and then we had a load of white towels cause that's just the normal run of the mill, you know, it's just, family life. So now I'm backed up on laundry. So this is what it looks like. There's whites that need to be washed. Part of the load that came out from when I did my laundry and then all of these whites to fold. My house still smells like smoke. The smoke is gone. It's super sunny outside today and nice and like probably maybe 70 degrees. I can still smell it but all right, well, we'll just say that I had to delete out a personal section of this video because my daughter just heard what I said. So you won't know what it is. I'll delete it. I'll delete it. It's fine. Deleting personal information from teenager. I got it. I'll do it. I think I just have a sensitivity to the smell of the smoke. I've washed everything that I have worn since like there has been smoke or since there has not been smoke. So I'm clean on that, but I think I'm going to go through today and wipe down all the window wells and try and get the dust out. And then I'm going to vacuum all of the floors and I have all the windows open that I can have open. It's not too noisy outside for the kids. I have a, a new burner going on in that little little you know wax melt burner but I'm, I don't want to just mask the smell so let me just show you some of these window wells so well first of all you can just see the dust right there so all those need to get done and then like this look at that can you see that I mean I'm not like super picky about having not having dust on these but that's not normal that's like I can like scoop it up on my hand now that I don't have any video to edit and I'm gonna go get caught up on laundry and then dust and then wait to hear back. Maybe we've gotten a word back. We are trying to find a pickup time to get Abby a new laptop. Oh, here we go. They are working on a time with the tech support at your school so you can coordinate a time that will work to swap the laptop. Because if we don't get it swapped today, she can't get on any of the rest of her calls today, which means I have to do attendance. Can, other... can you? Yeah. yeah. Either way, I, we need to get a new computer for her. Let's go do laundry. You're going to come with me because that's what we're doing. And my kids won't let me film them. Right, Abby? Whoop, whoop, whoop. She was on it for two seconds. Let's do laundry. 
So I always have to move this little jar of flowers. I don't think you guys have ever seen this. It's in my laundry room and I have to move it to put the camera on that shelf. But I think that I'm going to offer them up to people because see, I'm gonna take a photo of them and see if anyone wants them because I just am not into this style anymore and someone else could enjoy them. took a lunch break during the kids lunch hour. I was trying like enjoying my, oh gosh. My kid got a little too close to the road there. I always try and do my lunch during the kids lunch time so that I'm available for them when they need me in between all their calls and stuff. And two minutes ago I got an email from Abby's school and they have a new laptop for her, ready to go at the front office, which I think is amazing that they are that on top of it. So I'm gonna hurry and get it so that she can have it for the last two hours of school at least. She has like a that laptop that Jason gave her, like it's really old, like dinky laptop that she can use, but then she has to use the regular school. Oh, I didn't, I have to exchange it. I need the other laptop. Hang on, I gotta go back. All right, have the old one, and we're gonna go get the new one. And we have a new laptop, <laughs> ready to go. things that are kind of going on and she's like oh so you're right back in the thick of it <laughs> yeah I'm right back in the thick of it regular old routine it's four o'clock no idea what's for dinner actually we'll do garlic chicken this one we'll do garlic pasta for dinner I know four of us will eat this and then I don't care the other two are gonna have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches totally fine with me I think I'm just gonna put some ice water in this and take Kaylee maybe I will take ah 
I'll have another one today. <laughs> but I will take my water. Also, this laundry Kaylee put in, and I'm not folding it. I want my kids to learn the entire process. She's washed it and dried it, but now she's gonna hang it up and put it in their buckets and put it away. I'm not gonna do it, because I have my own load of towels in there. I need to fold for myself. I need to keep teach my kids to be a little bit more self-sufficient, starting from a younger age. All right, I just finished a very grueling uh, session of do seven when I finish their homework. <laughs> Everyone has answered our question of what? Oh, your teeth are blue oh. from your drink. So oh, guess who has to- do an embarrassing one with this? Yeah. I read some of the comments. I started thinking through some things and it's like, at first I thought I didn't have anything. But you got some? I have some. Plus- Do they involve me? There was something about- Try not to have stories them. that I was gonna like clarify a little bit. Uh-uh. There's nothing in my stories that need to be clarified. Nothing. I want you to share your own stories. Embarrassing stories. We'll have to sit down and think about them. Uh -huh. Okay. Ladies, you get to hear it. All his embarrassing tales. But you had a good day at work? I don't know if I had that many. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stop. I don't know. I just don't know. I have to think about it. Oh, uh, today was a good day making money. A rough day so, making um, it make money. <laughs> and you're going to go on a run or something? It's so dark outside, but I need to exercise, yeah. All right. Well, it's not smoky, so you might as well. Yeah, I know. I want to enjoy it before it's gone and rainy and, I, you know, yeah. Yeah, it's 90% chance of rain tomorrow, so you might want to go. I'll put on my headlamp, avoid the cougars and bears, and survive. Yeah. All right. All right, I'm going to call it a night. The girls, the, I, whenever I say the girls, I mean the younger two. I guess I have them, they're like in sets of two. <laughs> if I say the older girls, that's obviously who I mean. But they are up on a Zoom call. And I don't know, why are they doing this call? Do they're they have planning, a plan or planning, something? Are they still doing their movie? I don't know what they're I think they have to write and give each other parts. They're writing their movie. Oh, I had no idea. When did they start this? Well, they've been doing the movie for quite a long time. I just thought they were over it, but now they're still doing it. Oh, okay. I just didn't understand because one of the moms texted me during dinner and she was like, hey, I'm going to email you the link to the Zoom call. The girls and I want to get together. And, and I was like, dude, they were just together like a half hour ago and they spent all afternoon together. And I guess they're making a movie. I don't know. So yeah, they're right, talking about each other's parts. I don't know. All right. Just, whatever, they're happy. So anyway, I'm going to call it a night because I've got to get them to bed. We're a little bit late going to bed for those two because Ashley's homework. And she was very sad she couldn't start that Zoom call because her homework wasn't done. So she's, <laughs> there were a lot of tears and she kind of is figuring out that there's consequences to not getting homework done. And later in life, they turn into grades as the consequences <laughs> for not getting your homework done. But anyway, we're gonna sit, call it a night and you probably will see a video of Jason's embarrassing moments coming soon. Later this week. Later this week. So. Take care, oh, guys. Maybe I could do my jury duties. They won't let me have camera film and jury. Oh, no. We can't do anything with that. <laughs> that awesome. He just got called. Like, he's guilty. He's guilty. He looks shady. So he he's just got called to jury duty next week. So oh, yeah. he's, he was like, oh, can I, what do I have to get out of it? And he realized there's nothing. He has nothing to get out of it. So anyway, take care, you guys. Just, oh, normal day. Back to life. And my teenager is trying to avoid like me on the camera. So she's having dinner late because she was hanging out with a friend today. So anyway, take care you guys. See you next time.